Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to replace the standard messaging app on your iPhone using a jailbreak tweak, um, which is actually a jailbreak app called Byte SMS. Um, it has the same look and feel as your messaging app that you currently have, but has a lot more features like quick replying that has a little hover thing that stays over whatever message you're on so you can reply really quickly. Same thing with composing uh, and a bunch of other really neat features. So we're going to show you how to install it and some of those features right now. Okay, before you do this tweak, you need to jailbreak your phone, obviously. So if you haven't done that, please click on the link beneath this video uh, on our site to be taken to that procedure, complete it, and then come back to this one to continue. Okay, we're going to open up Cydia. Uh, and then we need to add the source first so that the uh, Byte SMS app will show up in our uh, search results. So we're going to go to Manage, Sources. Um, and these are the sources that Cydia pulls the apps from. So these are the ones that are here by default. We will add another by hitting edit, then add. And you're gonna type in the one that's written beneath this video, um, but it is, I wanna say it's test. Video.bytesms.com And it's a hyphen, not an underscore. Add source. Once it's done, hit return to Cydia, uh, and it should now show up in there. We can go back, go to search, and now if we search for Byte SMS, you should see it there at the top. Make sure that it says version 8.0.7 at the time of writing this, but anything higher than that is good. Tap install, tap confirm, and wait for that to finish. Once it's done, tap restart springboard, and wait for that. Okay, once it happens, you'll notice that wherever you had the messaging app, you now have Byte SMS. Um, so we tap that to open it. It's gonna already pull in your current messages. Um, and you'll see now it's added a little cool contact photo there. When you tap, it adds contact photo up here, uh, etc. Other than that, it pretty much looks the same. So you could pull down though, and tap on settings. Uh, and then here's where you could change all the things. Themes is coming soon, where obviously you'll be able to change the look and feel of it. Um, that's not here yet though. Um, you can do other things though. Um, some of the cool notable features are Quick Compose, um, which allows you to, uh, you can use the volume button during any program in order to launch a quick little dialog box to send out a text, or you can use Activator. Um, if you're not familiar with Activator, it is another jailbreak tweak that allows you to use different commands like tapping with three fingers, pinching, um, et cetera, et cetera, to launch different things. So you can set one of those if you have Activator installed. If you don't, uh, you can head to the link underneath our video here to show you how to use Activator um, and then come back to this to continue if you want to do that. So here's how Quick Compose works. You tap the volume and then tap inside that and now you can type in here and send whatever you want. Um, and this will work no matter what app you're looking at. Uh, the next feature to check out in there is Quick Reply. Now this kind of works like what you just saw where it's just like a pop-up. Um, but essentially, and there's different options in here, you can figure buttons, do what they do, whatever, show pictures, don't show pictures, a ton of options. Um, but this will actually pop up the message over what you're looking at, and you can quickly just reply um, directly from there. And there you go. You can either swipe up to reply or swipe right to uh, ignore it. Swiping up, and then I can type right back, and it sends it back. And besides those features, there's a bunch of other little options in here that you can play with um, and check them out and see if you find anything really cool. If you do, please let me know in the comments underneath this video. Um, one other last thing, uh, you may hate, like I do, that Byte SMS pink icon. Um, so you can actually go into more stuff and then application icon, Apple messages, settings, home, and then restart the device. And once it does, you'll see that the normal icon is back. So there you are, enjoy. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.